Yeah, no. he looks a little young. He's got a lot of hair, too. <laughs> great surfer, though. Yeah. Probably one of the best. To one, of the, one of the things that we liked seeing of, of Kelly there at Pipe was his ability to uh, seemingly conjure up a wave out of nowhere in the winning seconds of uh, what seemed like sure defeat and snatch. You know, just get a get a like an eight and a half point wave or something a uh, uh, back door on a you know kind of a junk four foot day. <laughs> you know, I was in the pipeline contest for twenty five years. I surfed in that meet. I mean, in the end, I was surfing against guys who hadn't even been born when they <laughs> Slater was one of them actually. And uh, I think one of the last couple I was in, it was a man on man heat I had with him because I was the he was the guy on the top, and of course I was the guy on the very bottom of the. Um, the, you draw know, yeah the draw mm -hmm. so we're paddling out and uh here comes this wave and i'm going oh jesus we're caught inside <laughs> and he's on my left so he's deeper than i am and we're paddling out and i'm paddling for all i'm worth to get up so i can duck dive and get through this wave and right as we get to the wave he spins around and catches it <laughs> and right then i knew man <laughs> This is another world out here. Now, there's a, a good, yeah, this looks like a, a Kelly Slater picture here. I don't know, Devin, am I mistaken? Uh, yeah, guys uh, guys are pulling into waves nowadays that, that don't look like they have a chance of making them, but because that, that curl throws out so far, folks, that uh, you can actually, that's one reason they call it back door, is that the curl can throw out in front of you 30 feet, and uh, because it's uh, it's so hollow that you can make it, you can make it past the section, and this is what you look for uh, in in surfing competition: is to be able to do something like this. And uh, you can win a lot of dough doing it, or you can get really hurt doing it. <laughs> in the early '70s, when the you know it started to get pretty crowded out in the lineup out there, there's a couple of those uh, Kailua kids, Timmy Carvalho, and those guys. Um, you know, they're all regular foots, and they just started going right and. Or a little bit of a north swell when a, a peak would come through and then, you know, the left would be taken. and uh, um, Or Vinnie Bryan and those guys, uh, Bob right, Smith. Yeah, right, On those Back really then. short boards, yeah. Uh, Dana Nicely. Yeah, yeah, that was a long time ago, too. A little 5 That's right. With the Bunker Spreckles. Yeah, they all bunker, campaigned exactly. the back door, too. I forgot about that. Yeah. yeah. That, that was the early 60s, or uh, not early, but late 60s when they were doing the back door stuff. But it's a great wave. It's it you know on occasion it's just as perfect as the left and and in fact the more often the two brides can be longer on the right than than on the left. The left is kind of a bowly section where the right's more of a wall. Except that uh, the one thing that uh, y you can get inside the curl and you can get a nice long curl right there. Uh, Sean Thompson uh, made a couple of uh, very pioneering. Uh, days looked pretty easy when he was climbing and dropping in the tube. Some people say he was one of the first people to maneuver inside of the tube, and I'd like to give him credit for it. But uh, one thing about riding, going right at Pipeline is that uh, the reef is, is level all the way in there, whereas on the left there's a little bit of a channel, and that uh, if you get caught inside there uh, trying to paddle back out, that, that there are some heavy dues because uh, uh, if you can't, if you're too far inside the duck dive, the the wave um, doesn't dissipate because of the shallowness there, kind of like uh, what I've, to I've been told Jaws is like, and that uh, you know, the wave will, will hit like in front of you, but it'll bounce, and then you can get hit by the, the second impact, and that's almost as bad as the first. Beautiful sunsets there at the pipeline, you know, that just would drop in uh, right out to sea, and right around December, it would actually go behind the, the point there at Cayenne, and... Uh, one thing about the pipeline, surfing it too late, Jock would probably <laughs> agree with this, is, you know, you're looking out to see where the sun's going down, and, you know, you're waiting for that one last wave. You want to get one more good one on the on a, one of those good evening sessions. And you're looking out there, and that sun would drop below the horizon, and then a wave would come, and you could kind of see it, you know, and then you'd turn around toward shore and start to paddle for it, and you'd be looking, and it would be dead black in toward shore, and you'd just step right off the ledge and <laughs> it's terrifying <laughs> so i i learned that lesson it took me a couple of times a couple of bad wipeouts to do it and uh i always came in a little earlier hey good to good to, good to reminisce with you here jerry about uh, about those days and uh um hopefully hopefully we can uh, get a couple more good ones together man yeah man <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you guys, that was awesome. Really, really exceptional.